Hi, I'm Linda Burns Bolton, A&E's 2015 president. As we close another fantastic year at A&E, I'd like to share some of our major accomplishments. It's been a busy year and we would not have it any other way. I'll begin with an overview of our fantastic educational programs. The annual meeting brought together more than 3,000 participants. If you mix in our shared governance, healthcare finance, and certification review courses, along with AONE Foundation's programs for emerging leaders, nurse managers, and directors, and the fellowships, we've educated 3,676 nurse leaders in 2015. Isn't that amazing? AME's competencies are the basis of our educational programs and are utilized throughout the field. This year, we released new executive competencies for population health and updated nurse executive competencies. In addition, our system chief nursing executive and post-acute care competencies were redesigned. Stay on the lookout for updates to the nurse manager's competencies in 2016. I'm especially proud of the work we've done to reduce violence against nurses. We partnered with the Emergency Nurses Association and the American Hospital Association Workforce Center to release guiding principles and a toolkit to assist nurse leaders in reducing workplace violence. Pam Thompson and I presented this work in June at the International Council of Nurses in South Korea. Continuing the international theme, we made our trip to Croatia to meet with the Croatian nurse leaders. Partnerships like this help us to live our mission of global nursing leadership one voice advancing health. If you haven't visited AONE's website recently, go there now. AONE.org was redesigned with an enhanced news archive system, expanded search capabilities, and a new resource library. And it looks good too. Innovation was a common thread in 2015. The Current Innovation and Transformation Initiative, known as CIT, saw a sixth cohort begin. We also concluded our first customized CIT program at Midland Memorial Hospital in Texas, where board member Bob Dent serves as the chief executive. Leadership Innovation Research Grants from the AONE Foundation totaled $20,000 this year. These grants are made possible with the generous support of individual contributors like you. Thank you all for your donations to the foundation. With your support, we are able to produce so many fabulous programs. AONE continued to lead as the National Program Office for the Academic Progression in Nursing Grant. I'm excited to say that nine grantees continue to make significant strides towards increasing the percentage of baccalaureate prepared nurses to 80% by 2020. In June, we hosted the first AONE Advocacy Day in Washington, D.C. More than 60 nurse leaders joined me to meet with their legislators and discuss the importance of funding nursing education and research. The event was so successful, we're doing it again. On May 18, 2016, I look forward to seeing you there. AONE held a day of dialogue with the American Hospital Association Society for Healthcare Strategy to develop guiding principles on the role of the nurse leader in crisis management. Participants used their experiences from Hurricane Sandy, Ebola, and other crises to develop this resource to assist their colleagues in effectively managing a crisis. We also released a joint statement with the American Academy of Ambulatory Care Nursing on how inpatient and outpatient nurse leaders can approach their roles to enhance care coordination across the continuum. Work continued with longtime partners such as Tri-Council for Nursing, the American Nurses Association, the American Association of Colleges of Nurses, the National League for Nursing, and AONE. Our alliances helped us to have a unified nursing voice and message on appropriation and nursing workforce issues. I could go on and on about the incredible things that took place in 2015. With Maureen Swick as your 2016 president, I know we're headed for another great year. I want to end with a sincere thank you to our members. You're the reason we're able to accomplish so much year after year. Together, we are the voice of nursing leadership Thank you for your continued support.